now in the internal treatment of water wherein carbonate conditioning is there our only aim is actually to prevent the formation of scale why because this is a hard deposition which actually is deposited on the in inner lining of the boiler this is a cross section let's say inner lining of the boiler is deposited with the scale formation which makes the boiler weak okay so the only purpose our target is to, to prevent the formation of scale now the question arises which is the salt responsible for the formation of scale and that salt is calcium sulfate so our nuisance creating salt this time is calcium sulfate and i just want to get rid of this calcium sulfate from the water or let's say i just want to i don't i don't want to make this salt precipitate out because the moment it comes out from the dissolved state to the precipitate form it will lead to scale formation okay so i have to ditch this salt so how will i ditch this salt for that purpose we we need to go a little back, back and we know should know the concept of the precipitation of the salt okay now for a salt to precipitate out what should be the condition like, like for example i i take calcium sulfate at this moment it is in the dissolved state in water so my calcium sulfate is present in water but it is in the dissolved state so it's not creating any problem so in that particular situation it is giving me calcium ions or let's say there are calcium ions and sulfate ions in water okay now the precipitation of calcium sulfate from the dissolved state okay out of the dissolved state it will happen only and only if the ionic product of calcium and sulfate ions actually it is greater in value than the solubility product in other words calcium sulfate will no longer stay in the dissolved state in water if the product of the concentration of its ions is greater than its solubility product under this situation the calcium sulfate will come out from the dissolved state into the precipitate form and that actually will lead to the formation of scale so i want to prevent this situation this is my target to prevent such a situation to prevent such a situation what will i do i will simply deviate this salt how will i deviate this salt i will add sodium carbonate to water so i add sodium carbonate to the boiler water and the boiler water is having calcium sulfate in the dissolved state so up till now no problem what happens the moment these two come into contact it will form calcium carbonate and sodium sulfate okay now what is the situation let's have a look over here this is my boiler actually okay and the boiler is having calcium ions it is having carbonate ions it is having sulfate ions also okay and i have added i have added sodium carbonate also to it i mean sodium carbonate is added to it so what's happening now more of carbonate ions are there in the water the moment this situation arises that more of carbonate ions come into water then what will happen let's see so my calcium carbonate will be giving me calcium ions and carbonate ions in water so what happened i am adding sodium carbonate more to it so what will happen by that addition more of carbonate ions will come in water the moment this situation arises these extra carbonate ions will actually go and fetch for more of the calcium ions so that they can get converted to calcium carbonate okay now from where will they get these calcium ions these added carbonate ions okay these added carbonate ions let's say more of carbonate ions are there they will go and fetch for calcium ions and from where will they get the more of calcium ions obviously from this dissolved calcium sulfate so in other words these calcium ions 
will get captured by the carbonate ions okay and in that case what will happen calcium carbonate will form which will come out in the form of loose precipitate loose mass or sludge and it's easier for us to remove the sludge by the blow down operation rather than removing the scale okay so what will happen here more of the carbonate ions will be there in the water which will go and capture these calcium ions which were there because of the presence of dissolved calcium sulfate as a result these sulfate ions will not have sufficient amount of calcium ions okay so due to the decreased concentration of calcium ions from this particular situation okay the ionic product of sulfate and calcium will not be able to exceed the solubility product and hence no precipitate will be formed or let's say no scale will be formed this is called as carbonate conditioning let's have a quick view of what we have learned now actually we want to avoid the precipitation of calcium sulfate which is as of now present in the dissolved state to avoid this precipitation we know that the ionic product of calcium and sulfate ions should be less than its solubility product now how to make this value as less than ksp we either need to change the concentration of calcium ions or sulfate ions so what we are doing here we are trying to capture these calcium ions okay these calcium ions how do we capture we add sodium carbonate to water boiler water so the moment we add sodium carbonate to the boiler water means we are providing more of carbonate ions to the water so when more of carbonate ions are being added to water what will happen these will try to fetch calcium ions and from where will they get the calcium ions they can get the extra amount from here so here calcium ions from here will be captured by these carbonate ions as a result insufficient amount of calcium ion will be available for the sulfate ions to get precipitate out and hence we are not getting the scale formation why because caso4 will not be able to precipitate out why because its ionic product value is not able to exceed its constant uh, solubility product why because its calcium ions are being used by sodium carbonate okay to form calcium carbonate so in order to avoid the formation of scale we have added the formation of loose mass that is sludge of calcium carbonate and we know that removal of sludge is an easy task as compared to the removal of scale this is called as carbonate conditioning means we have conditioned the position of the water in the boiler with the help of carbonate ions okay that is carbonate conditioning now this was the condition in lower pressure boilers if we talk about high pressure boilers then it gets some changed what happens in high pressure boilers we cannot prevent the scale formation now why is it so in high pressure boilers scale formation cannot be avoided by adding sodium carbonate to the water now why does that happen because in high pressure boilers actually the carbonate ions these carbonate ions which are present which we were playing with in the low pressure boilers very easily actually they get hydrolyzed so they undergo hydrolysis under high pressure and after hydrolysis they get converted into bicarbonate and hydroxyl ion okay now these bicarbonate ions okay in the presence of water again in the presence of increased or high pressure they get converted to water and co2 and hydroxide ions now because of these two reactions reaction number 1 and reaction number 
what happens the concentration of carbonate ions it gets reduced why because the carbonate ions are being consumed by the water and getting converted finally into co2 and water so no more carbonate ions are available which can actually capture calcium ions okay so this route is blocked so it becomes impossible for the solution to become saturated with respect to the calcium or magnesium carbonate so as a result precipitation and the subsequent loose sludge formation of calcium carbonate or let's say magnesium carbonate that becomes impossible that means we are not able to form a precipitate of calcium carbonate so this route which we adopted for carbonate conditioning fails in case of high pressure boilers why because there what happens under the presence of high pressure the carbonate ions they get hydrolyzed to water and co2 okay so the hydroxide ions concentration becomes high which actually can lead to caustic embrittlement okay so uh, we were trying to expect and make something good but actually we landed up with something bad and that is caustic embrittlement this is the case for high pressure boilers okay so we can say in other words that carbonate conditioning fails to an extent if if it is a high pressure boiler yes it is successful in case of low pressure boilers as we discussed in the previous slide